Hello friends, in this video we will explore density plot. So density plot is similar to histogram but instead of count we have the probability density on the y axis. So it applies on a continuous data. So let's say in this example on x axis if we have a D1, okay D1 and we want to see how the expression is uh, the distribution of D1 column okay or the gene expression in the D1. So you will see that the shape looks like this. Okay, so the density plot tells the overall shape of the distribution, and what it means, uh, the you know, for example, it tells that uh, the probability of occurring you know uh, the D1 value between 0 to let's say 0.5 is very high, and as D1 increases, the probability of observing values becomes you know less. So these are the rarest observation. Okay, having D1 expression values greater than 2.5, these are rare because the density is low. And so it tells a lot like uh, again it, it says that there is a peak over here, there is a peak over here, here and here. So it's kind of multi-modal uh, kind of distribution. Okay, And uh, it, uh, you can also see that there is a right hand side a long tail is there. So that means the this kind of distribution is right skewed. So density plot uh, overall it gives you the shape of your data and which is an important factor uh, or important property of any statistical analysis whether you can check whether your data follows normal distribution or not and you can check left skewness right skewness whether it is symmetric or it is unimodal or bimodal or multimodal distribution so that way uh, you can know and accordingly whether you can go for parametric and non parametric test that is decided by the overall shape of the data so that's why density plot is an important uh, you know uh, plot so whenever you have uh, when you receive some data the first thing uh, the first important um, means first way you can visualize your data is through the density plot okay so as said that it applies on continuous data so in our example we have uh, let's say mutation d1 these are the continuous scale so we can check the density of this feature this features and like that we can check all the density of each of these columns and ggplot2 provides a function called geometric de underscore density so which is useful for uh, getting this uh, density plot now the command for getting this plot is simple so you start with ggplot and first argument is same for like you you pass the data frame then you provide the aesthetic mapping here only x aesthetic only one mapping is required x and y will be calculated by the density function itself okay so that's why x equal to d1 so where uh, the d1 will be mapped to the x-axis and once that mapping is done you can simply specify the layer geometric dot density okay underscore so let's try this example okay so we have uh, the data over here okay so let's uh, so let's load the library uh, i just cleared my session so i have to reload it okay so let us let it load so now it's loaded so now I will type ggplot first argument data frame then we say aesthetic mapping x equal to d1 and then here say geometric underscore density. So now you will see that you will get a density plot over here. So if we if you simply map to y then this uh, will be flipped so that now d1 is mapped to the y axis okay. Now let's uh, and again if we change now color aesthetic to let's say red color so then you will see that the line will uh, the red and the color will be applied on the line which is in the red color okay so now uh, this orientation uh, explain line type okay so if we want to change the line type so now you can see that you have solid line but we can change the line type equal to let's say by default one means this is the line and two means you will get this kind of line and three means you will get this type of line so three four five you can try that and this has to be passed in the density function within that because this is the property of the density okay so now next uh, is like changing the kernel okay as i said like the density is is estimated based on this thing uh, d1 value the density probability of density is estimated using some kernel function okay so that also we can change over here okay so we say that let's say kernel equal to let's say cosine kernel okay so then the shape will slightly it will change you can see that uh, shape is slightly changing otherwise um, if you remove this so now let's compare these two so this is the gaussian by default and this is the gaussian okay so you can see that slightly the shapes are changing and there are other uh, you know um, uh, kernels are there that can be tried out 
so just we need to pass kernel equal to gaussian rectangular triangular you know and by weight cosine and of cosine so that way we can try different uh, kernel to see and uh, changing the kernel will change the shape of the distribution okay so now another parameter is adjust parameter so now the adjust is kind of you know the bandwidth what we see in the histogram okay so uh, as the uh, like adjust is decreasing so you will see more uh, you know number of beans and as we move towards higher value you will get a less number of beans and so you will get a smooth curve okay so we will just pass the adjust parameter in the density so let's do that okay so let's say adjust equal to half okay so now now you see there is more uh, you know rigidness there let's say 155 okay and now changing to 1 by 10 and now let's try 1 by 100 so now you will see that there is more uh, you know this kind of uh, beans are there and if you go in the upward direction like this is one but if you make it two this will become more smooth three even more smooth plot four slightly smoother if you change five smooth and let's say make it to 50 something so now you will see that smoothness has completely uh, the shape changes so what i am trying to say like different adjust value will change your uh, shape of the uh, overall data and it will give you different kind of information which is useful okay so so far we have just uh, given uh, one color red color so but we can map the color aesthetic to any of the this categorical variable so let's give color equal to tissue so that this will be drawn like this tissue wise uh, density plot uh, we'll see so here let's say color is with respect to tissue and instead of this adjust i'm just removing this so now we get this kind of density plot and if we just replace color with fill now instead of using color aesthetic we are telling that use the fill aesthetic so now this density will be now filled but since it is difficult to see so we can use some uh, transparency value as we have seen like transparency alpha is used for transparency you can say alpha equal to 0.1 so now this will draw a transparent plot but still it's completely overlapping so what we can do to make it more useful so we can simply use uh, the facet wrapping okay and we say that here uh, facet uh, is with respect to tissue okay so now you will see that you get a very nice plot over here so uh, like uh, the plot is split as per the uh, tissue wise and within that how the density looks like and we can see that uh, these tissues are different uh, uh, the different uh, expression profile of these tissues we can see okay these three are similar these three are slightly similar this is completely different so that way okay and we can also change let's say facet with respect to pathway but uh, you know uh, fill with respect to tissue so this will create another complex plot so where it is split by pathway and within each uh, the there are uh, density plot is with respect to the tissue type the color is with respect to tissue type okay so yeah so in summary uh, yeah so in summary what we have seen like density plot is a very nice way of uh, giving the shape uh, you know property and you can use uh, x or y aesthetic or line type can be changed we see the kernel can be changed to change the shape similarly adjust parameter can be tuned to get different shape of the distribution and aesthetic mapping color or feel can be given to the aesthetic mapping and we saw the facet wrapping and yeah so that way uh, density plot this finishes the density plot so in the next uh, video we will go through the box plot this is another very important uh, plot by which you can convey the overall distribution of the data so we will see uh, the box plot in the next video so thanks for watching i hope this was very useful and yes please like it subscribe it and thanks thanks for watching this video so i'll see you in the next video